Get it one. Here. Today we're going to explore this Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 3 Gen 2 dock and how it performs under Ubuntu. Now I've got a Dell Latitude 5401 and I've installed a fresh copy of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS version on it. Now I haven't installed any drivers on this so it's going to work natively on what Ubuntu has to make all of this run. So I'm going to actually have a look at how that runs with some peripherals on it. So I've got three external monitors there. They are 24 inch full HD monitors. Unfortunately, I don't have the funds for 4K yet, so I can't really perform under that condition there. And I'm gonna connect the key USB keyboard and mouse, and of course, I've got ethernet as well. I'm gonna quickly give you the setup of the monitors behind me. So the center one and the right one is connected by display port and the left one is connected by HDMI port. Now I've done a review for both these products, the dock and the 5401. And if you haven't checked those reviews out, I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check those ones out after this video. This 5401 does have a Thunderbolt enabled chip on this USB-C port. So if your USB-C port on your computer is not Thunderbolt enabled, then more than likely this Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 3 dock is not going to perform very well. Or well, not at all, actually. <laughs> anyway, let's connect the actual computer up to the dock itself. So got, I've only got one port to connect up to. So there we go. And straight away, let's have a look. I've got the display screen. And at the moment, I've got the inbuilt display. And that's actually all it sees. Uh, I've got all three screens connected to the dock at the moment. Uh, but it doesn't see anything at the moment which is a bit of a weird thing that happens. But I'm, what I'm gonna do is start disconnecting and see what comes up. First off, let's try and actually close the lid and maybe we'll see something out there. Just closing the lid to see if we'll boot up any of the screen. Sometimes it may actually boot up the screen there. So I'm just gonna click and move the mouse. Because sometimes you'll find that it may not be actually support all four monitors at one go. But at the moment, I'm not getting anything from any of the monitors, which is a bit of a pity. I'm just gonna quickly flip this open and we'll actually log back into the computer. And it still is just showing one display here. That's all we can see, just the built-in display. So I'm going to start disconnecting some monitors off. First, I'm gonna actually disconnect the HDMI port. So see, so this is the left one here. So I'm just gonna remove that one there. That's the HMI port there. So let's see what we get. Hopefully we'll get some monitors fired up here. Oh, we do. We've got two now, two. The display port monitors have fired up plus the built-in display. So we've got three displays there, but only two external monitors. I can definitely see my keyboard and mouse is working. So definitely that's my keyboard working right there. So I've got keyboard and mouse. I can definitely see my network is there as well. That's fantastic, my network is there, so Ethernet is working as well. Now, I'm going to actually plug the HDMI back in, and I'm gonna remove one of the display port. I'm gonna try and remove the one on the right, okay? We'll see that, how that goes. Now, I am using the HDMI port from the left here. Now, from my review, you will see there are two connected ones up here, and I'm actually gonna try that out. So I'm gonna try and remove the one on the right, and we'll see how that goes. Let's see what that will fire up there. So at the moment, I have got three screens, only two external monitors, three screens. So I've got the HDMI and the center display port. Now this display port here is coming from the one closest to the ethernet port there. So I'm going to actually switch back into the display port, back into the right side and I'm going to remove the display port in the center. So we're actually running off to the right this display port and the HDMI. And what do we get here? I've got, I shouldn't have anything in the middle, which is correct. I've got a display port on the right and I've got this and a HDMI on my left, which is fantastic. So they're two working there. Let's try another instance here. Actually, before I do do that, let's see if I can close the lid and what would happen there. So hopefully this will fire up. I've got one external monitor. Will I get the second one here behind me? Yes, I do. So I've got two external monitors. So it will work with the lid closed there. And I can definitely see it's got two screens there. It hasn't shoved the built-in screen, which is fantastic there. So I'm just gonna quickly flip this lid back up again. 
I'm going to actually plug in the HDMI port with the right display port. So this is what I was saying. The, the right display port will have a connection there and will actually do some really funky stuff. But I'll just put it there just to test it out because these two should share the same video stream there. And again, it will only see one external monitor, which is the display port and not the HDMI, which is kind of what I guessed that should be happening because those should be sharing the same one. I'm going to unplug the display port anyway. And then I'm going to replug the exact same display port on that shared one just to make sure to see if it will fire it up or not. So I've got HDMI back there. And I'm now back to this built in screen. And again, only one external screen is working on this video stream on the right. So definitely, I have to say, you only can use one video stream from those two share ports anyway. So it is correct as my review earlier. You know, I'm going to actually try another way out is actually I'm going to put in the center display port back in again, which means I'm on three external monitors connected again, just to see what happens there. Okay, now I've got two external monitors and the built-in screen. Now again, my HDMI port is on that shared video stream here, which is on the right here. So that's why this was turned off, which is because it is giving it its uh, video stream to my display port on the right. I'm going to unplug the HDMI port and put it back into the left HDMI port. So I'm still trying to get the three external monitors working there. And straight away, I can definitely see that the built-in screen is the only thing that fired up. All external monitors have actually turned itself off. And that means that in Ubuntu, it is unable to support three external monitors. So we're going to unplug the HDMI port here. So I should get two external monitors here, which is the two display ports. Now I'm going to actually try the power button here to see if it does anything here. So that's turned itself off. So you can see the orange light is off and it doesn't do anything here. Now I've also tried this when the actual lid is closed. All right, it's gone to sleep. All right, I'm going to turn this thing. I'm going to actually turn it off actually. I'm going to turn the computer off here. So the notebook is now turned off. I can't have no lights here, even pressing anything. I don't have any lights down there as well. So it actually is completely, utterly off. So I'm going to actually try and use the power button on the dock to see if it will mirror the power button on the laptop there. So I'll press that one there. I can see that the dock has gone orange in light for the power button, but I don't see the computer has turned on there. So it doesn't look like it's actually sending a power signal to the computer there. So it does not mirror your power button. Now I saw that the same thing in the Mac test when I did as well. Now I've also tried uh, other computers there. That's not Lenovo. So I'm taking guess you need to have a Lenovo to have that power button be mirrored to the computer. So I definitely not see that. Even in Windows, I saw the exact same thing on the 5401. The power button on the dock does not mirror the power button on the laptop there. So it looks to be running the actual power signal through the software for Lenovo or some firmware there. I'd love to actually hear what Lenovo actually says about that because it would be nice to actually get the power button working for non-Lenovo computers there. I have checked the headphone jack on the dock and they do spit out audio to my earphones, which is fantastic through Ubuntu. And I also check the power charging on my laptop through the Thunderbolt cable there. Now, this version of 54.1 is a 90 watt version I've got here and it is able to charge it. It does slow charge. I do get a warning message when I boot the computer up saying it doesn't produce the 90 watts it requires. So it produces probably 65 watts to the laptop itself, but it is still able to run and char slow charge the battery there. Now I do give you a quick warning is if your laptop does have a discrete graphics card, more than likely this dock here won't be able to charge your computer there. So you'll probably more than likely still need to connect uh, your normal power supply to your computer there.
If you find this video informative, enjoyed it, give it a like and please share it around. And if you haven't done already, subscribe on the channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom hand screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesday. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.